Um, and hey guys, and welcome back to my new welcome, not, I shouldn't say welcome, welcome back actually, um, and, and welcome to my new YouTube series where I will be reading creepypastas on Creepypasta Wiki. Um, now the first one we're going to be reading today, this is season one, episode one, so pretty you know, the first one we're going to be reading today is The Slender Man Cometh. Right here, and I'll be facing the camera at that the whole time until I find out how to edit. And I'll be facing the camera at that and reading through it. Now, yeah, so starting in three, two, um, hold on. I once lived a normal life. I was a groundkeeper. I was a groundskeeper at a local cemetery. It wasn't the best job, but hey, it paid the bills. I lived alone in an, apar in an apartment complex that stood about a mile from the cemetery in which I worked. In which I worked. It wasn't. Hold on. In which I worked. I would spend my time writing short stories about my boring life and days I spent at and the days I spent at the cemetery. When I worked, it was usually during the afternoon and twilight hours. Into the twilight hours. I knew I never would have worked at night that place is creepy as it is. Thank you very much. That place is creepy as it is, thank you very much. I stayed I stayed far away from it during the night. It was always the same routine. So I at the cemetery, gather my tools, and go out to pick up the trash and tidy up gravestones. Until it started to get dark. Then go home and do whatever. Nothing special. This routine continued for a year and a half. And like, literally, ever since... The day I got the job, no, not once did I ever run into anything spooky, spooky, like you'd see in a ch cheesy horror movie or something like that. There were never any black cats or curses, and certainly no zombies crawling out of the ground to eat my brains. However, th shut up. I'm sorry, but um, however. There was one day that would change my life forever. The day I saw him. Or rather, it. The day I saw Slenderman. It started off like any other day. I walked to the cemetery, got my tools, got my tools and headed out to pick up the trash. But something felt different that day. It was hard to explain, but I felt as though I was being watched. I would constantly look around nervously online to find to find that there was nothing around. The only sounds I heard were birds chirping in the trees and the occasional car that passed by. That passed by. Sorry, guys. So I spent the entire occasional cars that passed by. So I spent the entire day on the edge, on edge. Something in the back of my mind telling me that there was something else with me in that cemetery. At the end of my shift, as I was headed back to put my tools away for night, for the night, I noticed that the birds were gone. There were no cars passing by anymore, and everything was eerily quiet. Just then, but just then. I saw what appeared to be a man standing about a hundred feet from me. From what I could see, he was abnormally tall. He was abnormal. He was abnormally tall, and wore a black suit jacket with a white shirt and black tie. Because it was be beginning to get dark, I couldn't see his face very well, so I couldn't tell if he was anyone familiar. Anyone familiar? I called him. I called out to him, but he didn't move. He just stood there, like a statue. I began to walk towards him, accidentally dropping my tools along the way. I bent down to pick them up, and then I looked, I looked, 
and then I looked to to where the man was, and he was gone. There was no sign of him anywhere. I scratched my head and shook it off, thinking that it was, I was just seeing things because I was overworked. I put my tools away and headed home, but I walked a little quicker than usual. I was still nervous. And questions filled my head. Who was that man? Why did he why did he stand there? How did he disappear so quickly? Was he real? Or just a figment of, or just a figment of my imagination? That night I barely slept at all. It was my thought it was my thoughts that caused insomnia. My thoughts that caused insomnia. Insomnia. The next day, at the cemetery, I was even more tense. I felt like a leaf. I felt like a leaf were to fall on my head. I'd scream. I'd scream in terror uncomfortably. At uncomfortably for me, the more tense I got, the more distracted. The more. For me, the more tense I got, the more distracted I got from my work. Soon enough, my boss, Jeff, came out to talk to me. Jeff was a good guy. He was my father. He and my father... <laughs> Sorry. Um, guys, I suck at this. Hold on. Jeff came out to talk to me. Jeff was a good guy. He and my father went way back. And he was he was the one who gave my, me the job as a groundskeeper. In the first place, in the first place, he and I were also good friends, and he knew that I wasn't acting myself that day. Stephen, what's the matter? He asked me. Stephen, what's the matter? He asked me. You seem a little off today. Is something wrong? I didn't want to sound like a crazy person, but I knew I could never lie to Jeff, so I told him the truth. I saw something yesterday, ma'am. Jeff, Jeff, there was a man. There was a man in a suit that was just standing in the cemetery. He didn't do anything, and then he just disappeared out of nowhere. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. And Jeff, Jeff looked at me like I was crazy or something. Like I was crazy or something. Wait, did you say this man looked like? I was surprised that he actually somewhat believed my story. I was surprised that he actually somewhat believed my story. He was really he was really tall with a nice suit on. It was too dark though, so I couldn't really see his face. He rubbed his head and sighed, I don't believe inside, I don't believe it. I rolled my eyes, thinking that he was just talking about my story, but then he continued. I didn't, I didn't think the legends were true, but what, but from what you've explained to me, Stephen verifies that maybe the Slender Man does exist. Now I was, now I was one that was con, now I was the, now I was the one that was confused. Slender Man, I thought. What's a Slender Man? I'm not the one who should be asking these questions, though, Steve. I I only knew a little bit about him, but I have I have a friend, James. He knows everything. There is he knows everything there is to know about the Slender Man. He took out a piece of paper and a pencil, describe a pencil and just scribbled something down, handing it to me. He said he said. This is where he lives. I'll give him a call and tell him what you saw and that and that you're coming to learn more about the Slender Man. Any questions you may have, he'll answer them. I still thought the idea was a little crazy, but I wanted to know exactly about what, what the Slender Man was. What the Slender Man was. Um that night, I did as Jeff. I did as Jeff. I did as Jeff suge suggested, and paid a visit to his friend James. As I entered the house, I saw he was already seated at the table, with pictures scattered all around it. When I walked, th and when I walked through the door, though, James greeted me with a smile. It was pretty nice, and so I said, Ah, Stephen. 
Jeff told me you were coming. Please take a seat. Or, sorry, he said, I'm sorry. Guys, I pulled up a chair to the table and began to observe some of the pictures that he had and began to preserve some of the pictures that some of the pictures that he had laid out. Jeff told me that you think you saw the Slender Man and that you want more info on him. Well, you've come to the right place and the right guy. I I nodded and he began to tell me everything he knew. One thing he, you should know about the Slender Man is he's not a human. James began. We don't know what he is exactly. He did, we don't know what he is exactly, but we do know for sure he is not definitely not a human. Definitely not a human. Pe people who have seen him though describe him as you saw him, but he is sometimes seen with black tentacles emerge from his back. He's a fearsome creature and kills most likely for the fun of it. Now let me give you a little backstory on the Slender Man. Finally, some backstory that I already know. One of the first recorded instances of him was back in the mid 1500s in Germany. A woodcut artist by the name of Hans Frankenberg created a piece. Frankenberg created a piece that displays a creature that looks not unlike the Slender Man. It was discovered in Hulst, it was discovered in Hulst Bug, that Bug Castle in 1883. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. He slid one of the pictures over to me, one that the 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 one that one that depicted a knight dueling with a strange humanoid creature. With multiple arms and legs, James continued. Now Hans Freckenberg was known for his realistic description of human and for human anat anatomy, but as you can see in the, that work, the character one that mm, one on the character on the right has multiple arms and oddly in an oddly shaped face. This works. This work differs greatly from all his other works. All his other works. I was intrigued at the amount of knowledge that James had, but he wasn't quite finished. He slid another picture over to me. This one showed several, several children frolicking on the playground. On the playground, nothing out of the ordinary, except for the fact that a man that looked exactly like the one that I saw in the cemetery was standing ominously in the background. Looking at that picture caused chills to race down my spine. Now this, now this here is the first recorded photograph of the Slender Man. Of the Slender Man, you can just see him in the background. According to the records, every single child that is in that photograph disappeared shortly after it was taken. Taken shortly after it was taken. They haven't been, they haven't been seen, seen since. I was astonished. I couldn't believe that I was seeing James then passed me a f I couldn't believe what I was seeing. James then passed me a few more modern looking pictures. Each one seemed like a normal every everyday nature or family photo, but in the background of everyone the same tall man could be described looming in the shadows. Looming in the shadows. That's pretty much all you need to know, James concluded. Any questions? I shook my head no. Still trying to wrap my head around why this thing was looking at me the day I saw him. Or it.